two degrees, two degrees. frozen. Well, unfortunately, this seems to be sort of a familiar situation. Really hope the pump didn't get damaged. Only one way to find out is to go over to the indoor cistern and see if it pumps water. Alright, let's see. Pump on. Zero pressure. We've got valves. Well, good news. Pump's still fine. But we do have a frozen line. So. That'll be today's project. Okay, so for those of you just watching the channel don't know me personally, um, and even those who know me personally might not be aware that uh, I have pretty severe tinnitus. Um, so uh, as a result, sometimes it actually helps if I sleep with earplugs in. And uh, when it's bad, uh, like it was uh, last night, I'll uh, I'll put some earplugs in and I'll sleep that way. And in the morning, it's actually uh, better typically after I do that. And uh, I'm not sure why that helps, but it does seem to. So I've been doing that on an occasion when uh, it's uh, it's acting up like it was yesterday. So uh, I woke up this morning about 4:30 this morning and uh, decided to pull the earplugs out and as soon as I did I heard the pump running so I have no idea how long the pump was running uh, but feeling the body of the pump uh, afterwards when I shut it off um, it was quite warm so I imagine it was running for some time while I was unaware because I had the earplugs in so I uh, have decided that I'm going to do, well, I've been thinking about a project for a while now um, that has been kind of rolling around in the back of my head because uh, when I leave the house, I will typically turn off um, the pump. Uh, if I leave the house for any period of time, you know, if I'm just going out for a short period of time, I won't bother. But if I'm going out for the day, uh, I will turn off the pump, um, partially because I don't entirely trust the plumbing here, but also because the if there was a failure, the 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 consequences are, are pretty severe. So, um, you know, a, a leak inside the house would result in uh, the the water coming into the house from the cistern um, being pumped in until the cistern was empty, potentially uh, ruining the pump when it ran out of water and dumping all of my water into my house. And and you can imagine you know, that could be a pretty severe situation if that happens. So I generally will turn it off. Uh, so I can't, uh, you know, so I won't come home to a, a huge mess and a lot of uh, expense. So uh, I've been thinking about this project for a while using an Arduino uh, to, to monitor the runtime of the pump. And if it runs too long to actually use a relay to switch the pump off if it uh, runs beyond a certain period of time. So I think that project is going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, and I've got a, a, I've got a few components already. Actually, I've got all the components I believe that I'll need already in stock. So I'm going to go ahead and start that project pretty quick here. And um, not only will that uh, allow me to just not worry about turning the pump off, when I go out for a long period of time, but also if I do happen to have the same situation where I, you know, I'm either not in earshot or I've got earplugs in because I'm asleep uh, and don't hear the pump running when it comes on in the middle of the night. Okay, so I've got some components together here. Got a uh, brand new Arduino 
nano kit. I believe the small one is called a nano. Uh, so we got a brand new Arduino to set up our project with. A relay on a little board here. Uh, this is designed to be used with the Arduino. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, this in our circuit. I've got a voltage sensor for that's also designed to be used with the Arduino. I'm not sure I'm going to actually use this. Um, I might need it. Well, actually, frankly, I don't. Oops. Frankly, I don't think I'm going to need it. Uh, I might use it anyway, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to include that in the project or not. Then there's the key component here. Well, I guess the Arduino technically would be the key component. Uh, this is the key sensor. This is a current sensor that is designed to be used uh, with the Arduino. And this is going to allow the Arduino to detect when current is flowing to that pump. So this will be telling the Arduino when the pump is actually running. So that's it. I will uh, breadboard it up um, with my uh, with my test Arduino here to write the, uh, the code on. And uh, we'll get this going at some point so that this problem uh, doesn't result in uh, damage to the pump or uh, water all over the floor or empty cistern.